I got nothing against money. I don't mind paying bribes to politicians. The thing about politicians is that they're very much like prostitutes, but only more expensive. The heads of government are the salespeople in chief of their country's large arms contractors. For the last 50 years at least, policy has been made based on the assumption of greed. And it's ruined the world. This very phrase, war on terror, it's nonsense. It's like saying a war on war. You're slipping into this possibility of kind of perpetual war. The national security state not only seeks a perpetual state of war, it will even go to all ends to create that. They make the mafia look like a bunch of schoolboys. And it destroys diplomacy. It destroys the will to diplomacy, and it destroys the skill for diplomacy. Well, I don't know I heard it. Bombs, they're like food. Munitions, that's got, you know, sell by that. You gotta get rid of it. Blair came to South Africa to lobby the BAE, the British weapons manufacturer, won the biggest contract, $10 billion. Quite scarce public resources on this weaponry that we didn't need. And this is the template around the world. BAE had channeled international covert payments all over the world to the local politicians. Seems to be a very expensive way of organising bribe payment. Might as well cut out the military equipment and just hand out the money. It's the disease of permanent war that destroyed the Middle East, not Islamic fundamentalism. Companies are not only sort of part of the government, but they're effectively above the law. It's okay to kill from a distance without a warrant, without a trial, without a jury, and the execution takes place off screen. Once you start a war, you open a kind of Pandora's box. You don't control it, it controls you. And it propels you in directions you never thought you'd go.